This story is from the point of view of a female. So when I was 16 years old, I was living with my father. We don't really have a good relationship, so I would go to bed really early, around 8pm. It was late spring, and one night I woke up. At this time I didn't know why. For about three weeks, I would wake up at 3am on the dot. I still didn't understand why I felt like this. At this point, I assumed I was going completely crazy. One night, it just seemed different. I woke up at 3am as usual, but my room felt abnormally cold. I tend to sleep with a blanket on the matter this time of year, so it didn't make much sense. Okay, so after I lay there for about five minutes, I happen to have a digital clock besides my bed. I also sleep on my stomach. I had this old bed that creaks at the foot of my bed. It felt as if something was sitting there. The bed creaks and everything. At this point, my heart is beating so fast but I feel like I'm going to die. I go to call my dad into the room, but nothing will come out. I can't move, can't speak, cannot cry. But then, whatever it was, starts to rock back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Now that wasn't the worst part. Wherever it was, almost teasingly, begins to run a cold hand from my feet, gently and menacingly caressing towards my waist. It then moved up to my neck, slowly. At this point, it starts to breathe onto my neck. I feel the sensation of a heavy breathing. I can hear it, I can feel it, and I cannot do anything. It continues for a few minutes, caressing up and down, breathing on me heavily. I struggle, I cannot move, and again still I cannot scream. Time tends to pass by, slowly. It then continues until it eventually passes and goes back to sitting at the foot of my bed, again rocking, just slower this time, back and forth with the springs moving in motion. It starts to slow down and I feel myself begin to slowly drift off in a bed of sweat. I was laying on my bed on my back when I heard a whispering in my room. It was very faint and hard to hear. Soon after, I felt something heavy on my chest, and all of a sudden, I could not breathe or move. I managed to get out the word mum, and all of a sudden, everything appeared as if it reverted back to normal. Thinking I was just dreaming, I began to force myself to fall back to sleep. This time, I was on my side facing the wall. Being so frightened from what I thought was a dream, I was sure I was awake. And suddenly, I felt something grab me and force me onto my back, as though something had jumped onto my chest, forcing me down. 
once again, I could not move. I could not breathe. I opened my eyes and saw, I don't even know what it was. It had a very long and stretched face and a small body. It appeared human, but relatively small. I could only explain it as looking angry. It was whispering at me very loudly, in an aggressive tone. Its hands were around my throat, choking me. I managed to muster the strength to utter the word mum, and it just sort of lifted off me and vanished. So, I pulled myself out of bed and reached over to the light. I saw nothing else in my room. I then looked into my mirror and noticed fingerprints all over my neck. So I left my room and began down the stairs, hoping I could find my mum. When all of a sudden, I felt a drop in temperature. It was getting colder. And as I got to the lounge, I sat down, and just as soon as I touched the settee, I felt two cold hands grab each side of my face and started to compress. I was panicking until my mother then came in, and before the door fully opened, the hand simply left my face, leaving in a faint sound of what sounded to be children's laughter. Hey guys, this is Billy James from Night Terror Films. We hope you enjoyed that nightmare. There are many more to follow. So join the Night Terrors and subscribe. Just remember, the only thing worse than a nightmare is waking up.